guys, happy Friday, Friday, Friday. Just wanted to sing it. So, firstly, I'm wearing these pom pom earrings because my sister Kate made them for me. She wrote me a letter that says, Dear Lisa, the pom poms have arrived. Enjoy. I spent a good eight minutes on these babies. So, that was Kate. I think she's going to take orders if you want some. I'll put her Instagram. She also drew me, can you see that? A really nice picture of me wearing the pom poms. So, that is why I'm wearing them. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know, but look. I've got like blonde in my hair, which actually looks a bit weird in a plait, but I really like it and it's really cool. It's just kind of, I've had to change my whole makeup and like warm up my skin more and that kind of thing. But if you're blonde, you know those problems. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be talking about the thing that I have been asked more quotes on than anything ever, and that is strobing. It is really the new contouring, but the great news is, is it's so much easier than contouring. What it really is, is highlighting, but a little bit oomphed. So it really isn't difficult at all. And I'm going to show you exactly how to create a really quick, easy, but wearable strobing look. Last season at Matthew Williamson at London Fashion Week, I did a strobing kind of look, but I put gold eyeshadow all over the model's face. So that's extreme strobing and might not be right for every day because we're not all J-Lo, unfortunately. So I've got a clean but moisturised base and now we're going to start by highlighting. Now if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know that actually I tend to always highlight under my foundation and I do that because it gives you that beautiful, beautiful illumosity. Is that the word? Yes. So I've got so many different like highlighters here and I'm going to use a couple and do a few layers. Start with Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow. I love this. It gives like a real beauty flash to the skin. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender and just apply this all over the face. My tan's gone now. That's a shame. Right now I'm going to take Sunbeam. Now, Sunbeam is more gold than Wonder Glow, and it's got a little bit more of a shimmer in it. So this is going to give us that full-on strobing effect underneath our foundation. So we're literally going to pile this on more than usual. You can kind of create a work of art just by... Oh, let's... What should we draw? Let's draw a flower. Okay, obviously, that's not a very good flower. Okay, so <laughs> I put this all over my face like this, and then I'm just going to blend that in as well, just using the beauty blender. You can start to see how that's giving my skin a glow already. And then I'm going to add another layer. But now I'm going to use my foundation like usual. Because we have applied a lot of highlighter already, you're still going to see that through your foundation. But do use a liquid foundation if you can, because that's going to give you a better finish. Now we're going to conceal. But if you do conceal quite a lot, just do a little bit less than usual. And try and use a really creamy or liquid concealer. Now that you've done that, if you wanted to, you could actually just leave your skin like this. It just looks really healthy and glowing. But we're going to go into some proper strobing now. First things first is bronze the areas that you want to bronze. So I'm just going to go under the cheekbones. And then onto the temples here too. Now the next bit is really key to giving you that amazing disco ball like shine to your face. And again, we're not going to go too extreme because you want to be wearing this every single day. But there's a few type of highlighters that you can use. And I'm going to use a little bit of a, a combination of them. Now, you could go back and use your liquid ones that you've already used. You could use something that's a cream consistency. 
or you could use a powder consistency. And I'm actually just gonna use a powder consistency for this and I found that that gives me a more dramatically strobed finish. So I'm taking this one here. This is actually by Kiko and it's called Beam of Light. So we know exactly what it's gonna do. And the reason it's called highlighting is because we highlight the high points of our face. So let's start with the nose. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, pop it down the center of the nose. Oh, tickles. Then I'm going to take it just under the brow bone. Then I'm gonna put some on the Cupid's bow. Now I've got really rubbish thin lips. So this is gonna make them look a little bit poutier. And then I'm gonna put it onto the cheekbones as well. And I'm just gonna use a small brush still. Don't use like a big brush, because you wanna be quite precise and just rub it, I'm doing like little lines, just up the cheekbones. I'm hoping you're gonna be able to pick this up on camera because I'm looking in the mirror here and I am like glowing for sure. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. And again, don't go for a matte blush if you're gonna do this. I'd even maybe avoid cream, blah, 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 cream blushes. I'm gonna go for one that has a little bit of a shimmer in it still. And I think I'm gonna use Rocketeur today just on the apples of the cheeks. Because the minute you use something that's matte with this look, it's just gonna dull it down straight away. So that is the skin done, but I can't forget about the eyes. So I'm actually gonna take the gold eyeshadow that I used at the Matthew Williamson show, and it's this one here, and it's called Guilty Pleasure, and it's by Benefit, and it's beautiful because it's really pigmented, and it's got really small particles in it, so it just gives you a burst of gold. And I'm just gonna put this all over the eyelids. Mascara wise, rather than using a black or my favourite blue, I'm actually going to use the Their Real Brown Mascara today. This is really beautiful, it gives you a really nice soft finish as well, so it's all about the skin. Now I'm going to take a highlighting soft pencil and this is the highbrow glow. These are great. Really good if you're on the move actually and you just want to strobe a little bit or add a bit of highlighter and take one of these because they're so easy to carry. But I'm just going to put it into the corners of the eyes. Let's blend that with my fingers. And then a little bit more on the cupid's bow. I need as much help as I can get, let's be honest. And then I'm actually just going to Put a little bit onto the, the centre of the lips only. By putting it on the centre of the lips, that's going to help make your lips look bigger. See, I know all the tricks for making your lips look bigger. See you later, Kylie Jenner. <laughs> and then just finish with a clear gloss. So that's it, strobing complete. That was a nice quick one today, wasn't it? And really, really just such a nice look as well, really fresh. Even if it's gonna rain, we're gonna look sunny, hey? <laughs> well, have a fantastic weekend. Please like if you do like this look and leave your comments below because I always respond to them as well. Okay guys, well, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye for now, see ya.